Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Apologies for uh, the timing. If you're watching the calendar, the calendar actually says nine o'clock and um, turns out today is Mrs. Z's birthday and she wants to go to breakfast. So we're doing it early so we can get going so I don't get in the doghouse <laughs> any further than I already am. Nicholas, how did you do that so fast? Like, I barely had the chat up, and bang, you were in there at first. Whoop. Oh, excuse me. It's already been a Dr. Pepper kind of day. All right. How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? Whew. Did everybody recovered? And you forgot. Uh, I, I, knew, I knew it was her birthday, but I did forget what time we were going to do this. Oh, man. How's it going? How's the temperature in Utah? It's freaking freezing man it's freaking freezing freezing good morning vietnam you yona you changed your little your name come on sit down buddy <laughs> dawson has the best pajama pants ever uh after suggesting the x light stream and i wasn't able to watch it due to staff meeting how did it go the first half is good, Nicholas. The first half is good where we uh, get uh, WLED connected to X lights. After that, it kind of fell apart, went off the rails a little bit. I tried to get stubs to come on and I couldn't get Discord sound working right. So it was kind of a bit of a fail after that. <laughs> so, you, but, but watch the first half because it does, uh, it's a lot simpler now to get your WLED controllers connected to X lights. Much, much simpler. Once you got your WLED controllers connected to X lights, then you can start playing around with sequences. And where I felt where things fell off the rails yesterday was when we were trying to um, when we were trying to get the the sequences. We were trying to play with sequences, and it was just kind of bad. Uh, Doctor Z's go off the rails never. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, so somebody was, who was it saying? Jeff, did anyone actually start shopping? T today is like the last day. Like if you don't get your shopping done today, you are busted, man. Busted. Busted. So get it done. Um, I can't remember what else I was going to say. Anywho's, so let's do 10th, not nearly first. Okay. <laughs> um, so. I got, this is, to me, this feels like a little bit of a cheat stream because it's going to be pretty easy, I think. <laughs> so let's, uh, let me, I showed you yesterday a little bit what I, what I got in the mail. So we'll, we'll go through some of this, uh, stuff that these dudes sent and then we'll just kind of answer questions or whatever for a bit. Okay. Cause I'm happy to answer questions. It's like not only is today like the last shopping day, yeah, it's a Dr. Pepper burping kind of morning. Um, the power of Christmas presents from the gas station <laughs> on the way home. Oh, I gotta stop and get something. Um, today is definitely the last day to get your lights up if you want to have any kind of chance of having Santa Claus stop at your house. Because if you don't have your lights up, uh, you know, this far, like a week ahead of time, then it's like you didn't do it at all. I don't know what that, that, that I'm just making stuff up. So... How many of you guys have a SwitchBot device of one kind or another? You guys remember SwitchBot? I actually made a pretty fun video I thought about SwitchBot where we we found like the most unique ways to use SwitchBot. SwitchBot was their first device was a little box that had a battery and it had a little arm on it. It's just a tiny little arm. Boop boop boop. And uh it would, you know, you press the button in the app and the little button would move, little the little arm would move. So you could put it like next to anything. You could put it next to, I mean, it's made kind of for a light switch. You know, you put on a light switch, boop, it turns it off. And then there was a little sticker thing. You could hook it onto the light switch and it would pull it, you know, pull it back to turn it back on. It works, it works really well. It's kind of, kind of genius because you don't have to get inside. You don't have to do a lot of electrical stuff, but you can still have kind of a smart switch. It's kind of cool. Um, then the video that I made, about it was all the funky ways that you might use a smart uh, a switch bot. Um, you have a switch bot that turns on your PC? Genius. 
genius. Um, we had a lot of fun making the video about it. I, I used uh, the little switch bot thing to do a bunch of crazy stuff. I had it flush the toilet. <laughs> I had it uh, pull my glasses up, my reading glasses, <laughs> adjusted my reading glasses. That was the thumbnail. Um, what else did we have it do? Oh, that was the best part. Yeah, I did put it on my car. You know, a lot of us have a push button on the car to start the car. So I put I put it on the car so it would start the car. Um, but the most fun we had with it was doorbell ditching the neighbors. We put it on the doorbell and then we hid in the bushes and pushed the button and it rang the doorbell and they came to the door. And then while they're still at the door, we pushed the button again. It rang the doorbell again. They're like, how is that happening? <laughs> so that was the that was the highlight of it. So anyway, SwitchBot sent me a box. <sighs> massive, massive box. Oh my gosh. And uh it's it's actually super cool. And um I wonder how to get it. I guess I'm gonna have to kind of open it as we go. But it's actually like an advent calendar. I already know because I already kind of opened it. They sent me a very nice letter with a really cool little seal. Like they they did some serious marketing. They must be they must be doing well, or at least they're certainly investing in themselves, which is admirable right so it's a nice little personalized letter saying dear justin thanks for supporting us and um you know hope you have a great year and hope you enjoy this stuff and all that so Okay, where's my hot glue gun? <laughs> where's my hot glue gun? Blades here! Blades here. Duct tape. Okay. All right, let's adjust this camera real quick because I want... Uh, we're going to have to show this box because this thing's really cool. Actually, I mean, what's in it is clearly cool, but the box itself, like, this is one of those things where... You know, the box is as much fun as the actual, the actual present. Okay, let's see. I want this, this, and I want that. All right, there we go. Now, we're going to be able to show the box. Bump, 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 and Dawson. Why did he look like that? <laughs> what is he, what? <laughs> What is he doing? Where does he get this stuff? Let's have a hot glue mic for the next stream. We're going to hot glue this sucker today, Joshua. We're going to, if we got time, and I think we will. All right, here we go. So I open this thing up, and it's an advent calendar. You know, it's got like days of the year or days of the month, right? One day for every month, right? What is Dawson wearing? So here's the fun story behind Dawson's outfit. <laughs> the fun story behind Dawson's outfit. So every year at Thanksgiving, uh, thank you for subscribing. Um, every year at Thanksgiving, one of our traditions is to go to like the thrift store. We give we give the kids um, we we share names, so we end up with our friend, our kids, and some other friends, <clears throat> my cousins, and things, whoever's with us, and we we do kind of a like an exchange names, right? And as you exchange names, thank you, Octawips. I'm going to play a little little thing for you guys that are subscribing here in just a second. So we uh, we we end up we give him a little bit of money. We we go to like a thrift store or something, and we say, "Go buy some." Is it Prime Subs? Oh, awesome! Thank you very much, SL SL Garver. Um. Anyways, we let him. Uh, we we let him buy crazy clothes for each other. And then we make them wear them. They don't usually have to be forced. They have no problem looking funny. And then we go watch a movie. We go to the movies in their clothes, in their new fancy clothes. So that's fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, let's see, maybe we should put this this way, Dawson. What do you think? That's better, right? 
You gonna go put a shirt on? Okay. Okay, there we go. Now we got the advent calendar thing. It is a really fun tradition, Nick. It is really fun. Um, it is really fun. Okay, let's start opening up some of these things, huh? So the first, on day number one, we're just going to open them all as if it were Christmas Eve or whatever. So the first one is a SwitchBot contact sensor. This is new. I didn't know that they made these. I did not know they made these. Let's see. I'm gonna let Dawson be the be the the opener. How's that? Patched my network gear from an exploit this morning. There was an exploit. Oh dear. User manual. I wonder what this is. I wonder if it's Bluetooth or what. Device instructions. It's a it's a tiny little contact sensor, and it looks like it has a button on it too. Ooh, it does have a button on it. I gotta say, I think I'm gonna have to use some of this SwitchBot stuff. By the way, you should update your Unify gear. Okay. Okay, I will today. I will do it. I shouldn't do it in the middle of the stream. Take a backup first. I, I oh man, I've had, my my Unify stuff has been so good finally after having so many struggles and now it's good and now, now I'm gonna have to update it. It's probably gonna mess it up. Take a backup first. You know what I should do? Oh, Dawson, is my phone up here? I don't think so. I don't feel it in my pockets. Oh, you opened number two already? <laughs> Here's another tradition we got. You guys have probably heard this tradition already. Um, every uh, On Christmas morning, when we start opening presents, we have the kids open a present, and then, uh, and then we wait a half hour before they can open another present. And that gives them time to play with the presents. So, I think we talked about this already, did we? Update the controller. Okay, only need to update the controller. Yeah, that's the dream machine. That is my that is my controller, I think. Wow, this thing takes two batteries? That's crazy. It's so tiny. So, it's it takes AAA batteries. That's good. I like when it's a, a nice, simple, cheap battery solution. Ugh. Isn't this thing the coolest, Dawson? I can't get this battery thing. Ugh. I want to use all this stuff. Would you Would you run grab my phone, dude? I think it's in my office. Or my office. I'm in my office. I think it's in the bedroom. Ugh. I can't get this open. Bring, bring. Thank you very much, Luis Torres. Ugh. Let's do this for this for a minute while I try and struggle with this thing. My dream machine didn't have an update, just my APs today. Switch bot to use local cool. Oh, oh yes, yes. <clears throat> I wanted to know about that, Terry. That's what I was going to ask you guys. So do we have some sort of switch bot home assistant integration? Because honestly, at this, with all this cool stuff in this thing, I'm going to start using some switch bot stuff just because even if it's not into home assistant, but of course, if it was in home assistant, that would be that much better. All right, so I got the little thing off. Man, this is a this is a solidly packed little little dude. It's on GitHub. Unify update released three days ago. Okay, so there we go. Oh my gosh, I just threw it. So it's a little it's a door sensor plus it has a button, so you can press the button to probably activate something else. That's pretty cool. I think uh, I think I like it. Oh, and then the little guy here gets close. Cool. Awesome. Okay. That is day number one. I'm going to put this box back together because this thing's super cool. Okay. Dawson's going to manage the box for us. And then day number two is a SwitchBot remote. It's a wireless button for SwitchBot products. I had no idea this was a thing either. These guys have been hard working. Got a lot of elves working in the factory, huh? With all this stuff... You get, you have everything on your house automated and smart. <laughs> I should, huh? I should. All right, let's see. This one looks like it doesn't 
need me to install a battery. That's nice. You saw my struggle there. Oh, cool. It has two buttons. Okay, well, this one has a disc disc battery in it. We'll turn that on. Oh, it just beeped at me. So this one just has, this one's got two buttons. So it's a little button on the bottom, little button on the top. Two buttons that kind of feel a little different. And a little sticker thing to stick it wherever you need it to go. And there's your little button. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Here, buddy, can you do this? Go to find the, uh, go to the app store. Find the SwitchBot app and update it because I'm pretty sure it's out of date. All right, day number three. Okay, so these are two cool new little products. I didn't even know SwitchBot made. This door sensor and this button. Oh. Oh, this one's a big one. It's a big one. Ah, it's a coffee cup or a soup dish. One of the two. SwitchBot mug. Established 2016. Put some Dr. Pepper in that. <laughs> All right. Fun times, fun times. Let's keep cruising, Mr. Dude. Let's go. I love having a little assistant. Dawson is a great assistant. Oh, he's got the VR headset on. It's cold. Oh, okay. Oh, the mini hub. Okay. I actually have one of these. Is it updating? Okay, good man. Good man. All right. So the SwitchBot Mini Hub. So this thing you need for all SwitchBot things, if I recall, right? No, actually, no, that's not true. Uh, you can have this. You can you can have this hub, or I believe it can work with just your phone, right? Here I am. I just took a two thousand dollar robot class. I got a pen. Wait, what? <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. I think two thousand dollar robot class, and you got a pen. So if I recall, guys, and we'll have to look through this, but does SwitchBot stuff work mostly on Bluetooth? Is that how it does it? You're getting all these goodies. I got a pen. Well, but you got to do a robot class too, though. That's pretty cool, right? That is pretty cool. So anyways, here's a hub. Here's a hub. Um, And we're going to have to probably start pairing all these things. Here, buddy, you want to put that one back? Okay. Updating. Oh, my temperature sensor is still connected. So let's do some, let's connect some of these new devices now. So here we've got, here we got the app. Little bit there, little bit there. Worth every penny, I'll bet. Oh, yeah, that's, I think so. What day is it? It's number five, but like. Yeah, I think it's number five. Yeah, but. But what? Okay, never mind. I'm trying to put these things back in the box. I don't want to get. Okay, this one is, what the heck is this? Oh, this is one of those curtain ones. Oh, sweet. SwitchBot curtains. SwitchBot curtains. Have you guys seen these before? This was this was a big deal. This was a big deal when these came out. Um, and I, I never did uh, never did test one, but they're kind of cool. It's a little, it's like a little robot that hangs on your uh, curtain rod and it like mechanically opens curtain. So the, the the theme for SwitchBot is that they take they, they instead of electronic or electrical means for making things smart like putting a, a new uh uh you know a switch in your wall or you know some something that would be respond like the motor in the in the shades they do stuff like externally and mechanically. So this is a thing you hang on the curtain rod and then it's got little wheels and a little motor in here, and it actually just moves and pushes the curtains open and closed, right? Oh, and what is this? Oh, this is this is another. This is how you can mechanically do it, too. It's got some some beady beady things for the wires, and I'm sure just some other parts to make it work. I gotta figure out some curtains to use this on. A little clippy, little clippy guys. Okay, put that back. That's awesome. It's cool looking. Certainly like futuristic. 
Looks like Big Hero Six or something. All right, next day. <laughs> that's the cute little. There's the cute little guy. This is like a tie pin, right? There's a little pin. Their little logo, dude. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, buddy. What one are we on now? Not in this case. You didn't learn that much. Stickers. Switchbot tag. Easily control your Switchbot devices or smart scenes in your home through NFC. Instructions. Scan the QR code for details. Oh. Dawson's like, whoa. I don't know what he's looking at, but. Scan the QR code for details. Uh, let's see. Make sure that your Android system is Android or above. And there's NFC function. Your iOS is the follow-up model of the XR and the system version of iOS 13 or above. Oh, so my phone probably won't work. When using a mobile phone compatible with NFC function, you need to turn the NFC function uh, of the mobile phone of the mobile phone turn on the NFC function of the mobile phone to open it. Please check the user manual of the mobile phone. SwitchBot smart device supporting linkage includes curtains, therm thermometer, uh, bot, hygrometer, plug, smart humidifier. Oh, I have that actually. Um, motion sensor, contact sensor, indoor. Cool. So I guess this means you take, go to the settings of SwitchBot device, tap the NFC option, choose an action you want to trigger. Hold your phone near the SwitchBot tag to write the data in. When it's done, you're able to trigger that action with a single tap on the SwitchBot tag. So these are tags for your phone, right? You put these on your things and you just tap the phone on the tag and it makes magic. It makes the magic happen. You have to have a newer phone than I have. <laughs> That's not a surprise. That's awesome. Whoa, what is this? I didn't know they had this. So we're, we're, we're piling up the things here that SwitchBot has been doing that I didn't even know about. You can create a self-opening advent calendar next year. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, this is a, a mouse pad. It's a cute little mouse pad. I like their little mascot. He's cool. Mascot's cool. He's a cute little dude. I wonder if he has a name. Awesome. Little mouse pad. All right, what's next, buddy? Next is the thermometer and hygrometer. Okay. Temperature and humidity sensor. I have one of these, too. This is good. This is good. Maybe I should use some of this stuff up at the Hobbit house, huh? Hello, RG3. How's it going? So the thermometer here has a little, has a screen on it. And takes two AA batteries. Sweet. All right, what do we got, buddy? Whoa. Solar panel. Solar panel? SwitchBot solar panel. Whoa. Dawson's going fast back there. And that's okay. That's good because we got to be done in half hour. Mascot looks like a marshmallow. It does look like a marshmallow. I think it's supposed to be their little bot dude, right? I love solar panels. This is just the solar panel, huh? I guess you use this, maybe you use this to charge the blinds or something. It's a USB-C connector on the back. It's 250 milliamp, five volt. Little solar panel for charging, whatever stuff. It's got little legs on it. Oh, so you can hang it, looks like. Ouch, ouch. Little legs, hang it so that it probably so that it charges the the little bot. That would be my guess. You put this on the back of the curtain bot, I would bet, and then the curtain bot stays charged up on the up on the wall. Okay. Oh, what did you do? Did you take one off? Don't do that. I know you just stuck it on the desk. Why you do that? Did you mean to do that? But not have the log. I didn't know it was the same. I can do that. Now I can't take it off there. <laughs> They're very good stickers. 
All right. Okay, a uh, little pack of holiday stickers. We need to stick on things. Holiday stickers. All right. What's up, buddy? What's next? Bring it on. Bring it on. Oh, oh man. Where did, have they been just they've been doing a lot of stuff. Switchbot color bulb. RGB bulb for Switchbot. And you know what it says on the back here? Voice commands with Aleka and Google Home and Siri. Schedules and timer, in-app control, voice compatible, uh, E26 spot. Oh, that's cool. So this is uh, some, some probably some rebranding. These are, this is probably a fairly generic thing. I wonder if this is a Wi-Fi. Must be a Wi-Fi. Stickers! Remember when we used to give away stickers? I used to give away stickers. That was fun. Yeah. Just want to peek at this bulb and see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks uh looks like one of the kind of standard bulbs like this. I'm gonna pop the top off, I think. I wanna see what's inside because maybe it wouldn't well can't get the top off. Ah, ah damn. I'm trying to break it. I won't break it. Alright. Dawson says he wants that in his room. Okay, man, my desk is getting cluttered with switchbot stuff. Oh, another solar panel. Bing! Did you, I used to give away stickers? I did, didn't I? No. I still, I, I get, um, I get marketing material from like switch, uh, sticker companies all the time. And I think, oh, I would love to make some stickers again. So another solar panel. Another solar panel. Lots of things you can use. Always could have more solar panels. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? That was a few years ago. Whoa! What day are we on there, Dawson? 14. 14, that's it? Yeah. Holy cow. Wow. All right. I'm going to run out of places to put things. All right. SwitchBot indoor camera. I didn't know they did cameras. Hobbit stickers, definitely. Hoobit. 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 It's like a hobbit, except it's not copyrighted. Okay, switchbot camera. So this looks like a little battery-powered camera. Very little. Mm. Definitely use this to spy on the hobbit, the hobbit house. I'm just kidding. Okay, this is the charging thing. Oh man, that is tiny. Oh, I like that. It's got a little speaker on it, probably a little microphone and a speaker. Oh, that is tiny. Oh, I bet you a solar panel on this would be good too. And it's got a cool little mount. Not just press in there. How does that go in there? Come on, you stinker. I'm sure that just pops in there. Anywho, wow, that's cool. I did not know that they were doing, that they did cameras. Holy cow. We're going to we're gonna have to pair all this stuff with the app. Okay, here we go. This is the actual switch bots. The actual bots. Can't even remember the home assistant version I was on when I started with this guy. <laughs> I know what we're, I was on like version seven, I think. Switch bot. This is the actual little bot with the little arm, right? This is what, this is what makes the magic. This is what makes the magic. Is it tinier than it used to be? I think it's smaller than it used to be. I think they made these smaller now. Maybe not. Maybe it's just my my rememberer is misremembering. All right, what do you got, Mr. D? What? <laughs> These are for you. <laughs> socks. Switchbot socks. Let's get this open. I can't believe this. This is like a this is like a serious gift package. These guys are amazing. Switchbot socks. <laughs> Dawson, Ooh. 
There you go. I want the marshmallow. What are these? These are just plain ones. Born to be automated. Oh, it's just got a big S on the top. And then you want these. These are the best. <laughs> and he's got like, he's, this is a guy who's definitely into home automation. He's crying. He's, he's, this looks like a face of somebody who, whose device just didn't work. <laughs> Not that the SwitchBot device wouldn't work, but that whatever automation he tried to do. All right. SwitchBot hat. That's number 17. It's a cool hat. You get the hat too, Dawson? Yeah. <laughs> okay, what else you got? Another switch bot. Another switch bot. That's number 18. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close. How do they automate your feet? I don't know. So here's another switch bot. This one's the same. It looks like just this different color. But those are... The original magic making little bots that we used for like doorbell ditching and stuff. Oh, what? LED strip. What are these guys doing? They are into everything now. I did not see that coming. We definitely need. That's the face I made when my server was fried. LED strips. All right, we're going to have to look at these LED strips because we're going to have to see what kind of controller they are, or what kind of LEDs they are. My guess is they're analog. Yep, they are. So I just, and I know that just by looking at the controller, and the controller has four, you can't see it maybe, but it's got four, four wires, meaning it's going to have a red, blue, green channel. So they're... The whole strip is going to do the same colors, which is cool. It's good for like accent light stuff. It just doesn't do WLED and things, but that's okay. Yeah. Four connectors, RGB, and 12 volts. Sweet. Find a place for those. Oh my gosh. Okay, what do you got? Motion sensor. Motion sensor. I don't think I had one of these either. Hopefully their app does a pretty good job of integrating all this stuff. I'd expect it would. So that you could have your motion sensor do something else. Do they work with HomeKit? Good question. Um, it says on the box here, it says... Where are my glasses? On the box it says Aleka... Uh, Google Assistant, Siri Shortcuts, If This Then That, Smart Things, and Clova. Never heard of Clova before. So if they do Siri Shortcuts, does that mean they work with HomeKit? I don't know. All right, so a little battery-powered motion sensor. Oh, dear. There goes the batteries. Would you grab those, buddy? So here's the little motion sensor. There's a little motion sensor. I wonder what other things it does. Maybe it does like temperature and things as well. Who knows? We'll find out. We'll try and get all these things connected to the app. What the heck? It's a, d a door lock. You guys have been busy, SwitchBot. You guys have been super busy. Wow. Yeah, it's a deadbolt. So it looks like, not surprising, I would bet. Yep. So this thing, the way this is going to work. This is a like a retrofit. I'm not surprised because this is how this is how SwitchBot does their stuff. But if someone else besides you wants to control them, they can't. Oh, shortcut is close enough. Doesn't mean HomeKit. Oh, okay. Um, so not surprising. This is a smart deadbolt that just fits on top of a regular deadbolt. 
because that's what SwitchBot does. That's genius. That is the genius of SwitchBot. And that's what makes them, they're doing stuff that nobody else does. Keyless door lock. Well, it, I mean, it goes on top of, if you look at that picture, it might be hard to see, but it goes on top of your regular lock. So you don't actually have to modify your lock. So I know people that have, um, that live in like apartments. We have this discussion every once in a while where we say, well, uh, what happens? What do you do with all your smart home stuff when you move? SwitchBot is for that kind of thing, right? If that lock is all local control and home assistant compatible and it's cheap, then boom. That's asking a lot, but we'll see. I have no idea what it costs. Well, I'm sure we can go to the website and find out what the what what it costs. Um, we'll have to figure out the home assistant compatibility part. I guess if it if it responds to Aleka and Google Home and those things, there's got to be a way, right? Expensive box altogether. Amen. I mean, this is a this is hundreds of dollars in this box. And here is. A, a sad bot man. <laughs> he's sad. He's sad. His automation didn't work. Oh no, he's sleeping. He's not sad. He's sleeping. He's a sleeping sleep sleeping switch bot guy. Is this a, well, this is another curtain. Okay, cool. So two curtain controllers. What number are we on? We must be getting close to Christmas on this one. Twenty three. We're almost done. Okay. Another another curtain. Maybe that's why there's two solar panels. I'm a lucky man. You bet I am, guys. I am a lucky man. This is the last one. Last one. Last one. Oh, my gosh. Another camera. This is a pan-tilt camera. Oh, and it's got, like, the Christmas... It's got... It's wearing a little... Uh, Reindeer antlers and stuff, and some jingle bells hanging on its around its neck. Amazing! Send for Doctor Z's. <laughs> oh my gosh, it really does have that. It really does have the antlers on it, Dawson. Look at this. It does. <laughs> what the heck? It's a Santa Claus catcher. It's a Santa Claus catcher. It really does have the antlers and the jingle bells. That is amazing. And it's not a sticker. That is painted on. Those antlers are staying on. <laughs> Best companion switch bot ecosystem. Oh, yeah. It says on the back here, you put this with like your motion sensors and stuff. That is amazing. That is so fun. That is really cool. Wow. Okay. That is incredible. Holy cow. If SwitchBot is looking, please PM me for my address. <laughs> Good morning. Isn't that fun? That was fun. SwitchBot, thank you very much. That is incredible. Um, we should probably pair some of these things. So we got a little bit. Uh, we got a little bit of time because I told Mrs. Z's we'll do it for... Hey, Dawson, get in the camera there and, and wave and say thanks. Or say hi. <laughs> He's got his shirt on now. All right. That was fun. That was quite a bit of fun. Man, I got all this stuff. Well, um, if there's stuff I'm not going to use, maybe I'll have to gift it out. Um, Sweet. Okay. Well, guys, what else do you want to talk about? We got 15 minutes. So I'm happy to do whatever, whatever you guys want to do, whatever you want to talk about. What was the thing we said we might do if we got to the end of this? Um, At the beginning, we said something we were going to do. I can't remember now what it was. Does anybody remember? I don't remember. That's for sure. There's some cool things here, for sure. I wonder where, I guess my other switch bot. My other switch bot little things are probably dead batteries. Hot glue the mic. Hot glue the mic. Hot glue the mic. All right. We're going to plug in the hot glue gun. That's what we're going to do. And answer questions. Switch bot is excellent, aren't they? I got to say. 
They certainly have been busy. They are not somebody who is just... They are not somebody who's just sitting around with their one little invention. Even though their one little invention was pretty was pretty cool. All right, that's heating up. Q&A session. Here we go. All right, let's see. So um, we're going to go to, let's see if anybody has put any questions into the stream questions, the live questions. Yes, they have. Oh, never mind. Regular proper question etiquette. Oh, somebody got busted. Ah, Blade. Blade got busted. Twice. Three times. <laughs> Blade's been playing around. Where's Marshmallow when you need him? I know he's going to miss it. He's going to miss the glue. He's going to miss the glue mic. He's going to miss the hot glue mic. What other questions? I did say questions. Am I an anesthesiologist? Yes, that's an easy question. Easy question, easy answer. Yes, I am. That is my my day job and sometimes my night job. I'm still a little messed up because I had to work Thursday night. It messes me up. Anyone check out the Echo Show 15? You know, do I need to get one? Is that what you're telling me? I am a sucker for... for uh, I like my little Echo Show 5. So what is an Echo Show 15? It's like a tablet? Cause that's what it looked like to me. I saw somebody put one on their wall. Got one attached to my door release out front. Are you spending Christmas at the Hoobit Hole? I'm not, Chris. I'm not. We're spending Christmas at home. We got a couple kids who are into the traditions. It's a picture frame. Really? Um... Go show 15. Picture frame. Smart display for family organization with Aleka. 250 bucks. Do you have an update on when you'll have Dig Quads back in stock, AV dude? Um, the Dig Quads, I don't think I'll have until probably January at this point. What I do have uh, is I have a handful of them. And I need to count up how many there are and I need to put them on the website, but there will only be a few, like I think maybe 20 and I'm just there. Like these are at the bottom of the box. All the orders are filled. So I just going to take the ones that I have at the bottom of the box, post them for sale. I've got a handful of, are there any, how, how many you want to count? And it's going to be, all I can do is like first come first serve or something. Go blue beat Georgia. Yeah. I guess we could do a bidding thing. Well, I, don't, I don't want to be mean about it. Does anyone have a case for the Quinn, just for the Quinn ESP32 board? Ooh, good question, Nix. I don't know. So this is interesting. So does anybody have one of these? So it's an Echo that looks like a picture frame. Okay. Okay. Calendar and some stuff on there, but how customized can you do this thing? That's what I'm, I'm not seeing customized stuff. Uh, any household photos, personalization, entertainment, smart home organization. Interesting. Interesting. I'm not going to buy one. Not, not that price. Not just for experimentation when I probably don't. What was that robot? Hold on. Uh, I've seen the robot, but I haven't really played with it. I like robots. The little behind on my Echo stuff. Echo glasses, echo frames. I don't know what I'd do with those either. Uh, could I ask, I have a three light setup with my WLED. I want them to work as one. Yes, sync groups. But instead of running them as one continuous string, can you set the ESP32 to output three separate segments? Yes, Coyote, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Do you have, uh, do you have the Uno or the Quad, or do you just have... Um, or do you just have the ESP32? Either way, you can set up separate outputs. If you go to your WLED, your WLED interface. Oh, wait, I turned that one off last night. My, uh, I think my power supply for some of my lights in my office took a, took a turn for the worst.
Then we go in here and you go to LED preferences and then for each output that you want, you do it here and you, it, so you add a, you add an output and you put in the pin number that you want, the GPIO, this is the GPIO pin number. You can look at the pin out on, um, uh, Quindor's website, or if you're, if you're connecting it directly to the ESP32, then the, the pins should be on there. And then you just have to dis, uh, you have to say which LEDs are connected to that pin. Got it. You have the Uno. With the Uno, you can do two. You could do three, but you have to connect to one of the pins on the sides so that there's two output terminals where you know screw terminals where you can screw in a wire. But if you want three, there are extra pins available. Caveats being it's not a screw terminal, it's like a jumper, uh, so small wire. And the other thing is they don't have the logic level shifter outputs. Reed with Smart Home Solver has one, does he? Reed's got everything. Okay, hot glue time. I can smell it, it's working. So let's hot glue this sucker in. I got, let me get some glasses on because I can't see it. Dog on thing. It's worse in the mornings. It's worse in the mornings, my old friends. Those of you who are old like me. All right, hot glue, hot glue. Just gonna let that run down there. Okay. Hopefully that's the end of our. Would you unplug that, dude? Thank you, thank you, my boy. All right. Well, problem solved. The mic will never come out again. <laughs> okay. For the eyes to really get going. No kidding, right? Yay! No more mic issues. I don't know, I could move it and not, and not, what are we fixing it? Too early, I know, sorry, sir, good enough. And it was earlier than uh, originally planned. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, what other, anybody else got any other questions? What else you guys want to talk about? Any other, any other really cool things I need to look at? Like, what does Dawson need for, um, what does Dawson need for, for Christmas? Crocs, Crocs, that's the first Traps, puzzles, and dungeons. Ooh. Lots of Legos, sketches, unique gift ideas. He's already got a switch. He's already got, we know he's already got some of those kind of funny things. <laughs> it's the SwitchBot man. <laughs> Never leak air mattress. Oh, PS5, stop it. Any cool stuff from AliExpress? You know, I have not uh I've not bought any cool stuff. I like what Quindor does. Do you guys like what Quindor does? I like what he does. Um I have not made any progress on my LED cube. This looks like a kind of cool decorative thing. What is this? Water pump. Yeah, we know about the cube. Yeah, VR. Oh, ESP32. <laughs> With a few flicks. Oh, I don't have the flicks. People have talked about the flicks. Whoa, that's cool. Mimic dice chest. Nice. <laughs> what is this? Customized black inflatable. $700. Just a, a room, huh? Oh, a dragon. That's cool. It's only seven bucks. It must be tiny. That's cool. Chandelier. Fun. Crazy shower. Mini Tesla coil. <laughs> I do want some of these kinds of things. Mechanic, medical lower limb walking thing. Only $34,000. What? You could just buy the craziest stuff. Crazy stuff. My homemade the town virtual light show. Prompted by the town mayors. Oh, your 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 home made the. Oh, oh, cool. So the town's mayor. So they picked your house, Jeff. They picked your house and said, "You are a part of our awesome light show thing because your house is awesome." Is that right? That's cool. 
fire breathing dragon. Uh, we need something. We need things like this for the Hubit house. What do you think? It must be tiny. It's cool as heck, though. Look at that thing. 14 bucks? And only... Why? What? Yes, I need this. How big is this? How how small do you think that thing is? Can't be that small. I mean, the size of those rocks. And how do they make it? How do they make it? I don't think they really make it below fire. Whoa, whoa, crazy stuff. I do need some crazy stuff like this, though. Definitely, <laughs> baby Grinch. Oh yeah, we were looking at this the other day. It's like a fountain. Look at this. Skulls. We need some of these things. Definitely need some of these things. Oh, the dragon head thing. Look at this. So cool. How have I missed all this stuff? Getting ready to plan for the mega tree next year. Awesome. The Tesla coil is music reactive. Really? Well, that's cool. That is cool. This thing, I cannot imagine that these things are really as cheap as they say, unless they're just like super tiny, right? Do you think they're super tiny? Like they're little baby heads? Do they tell you how big it is? Here it is. Uh, tw 22 by 16 by 24 centimeters. Yeah, that's not that big. So 24 centimeters is going to be, well, I guess it's not that small. I think we need to buy it and see. Don't you think? And the egg and stuff. I think we should buy some of these kinds of crazy things. Just figure out how big. They are. Oh, now so there's there's an idea of how big they are because there's a floor plank. That thing's got to be like six inches, right? So they're going to be kind of small, but that doesn't mean they're not cool. Definitely scary. Woo! Nine inches, thirty centimeters is is one foot. That's a good. I have to try and remember that. So it's not it's not. Super tiny, but certainly not like massive. What are some of these things? That is awesome. <laughs> what is this? This is just put on the bookshelf. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. It's like, that's crazy. They have some of the wildest stuff. Where does this stuff come from? Anyways. All right, guys. Well, one or two more things. Buy it and hack it. Buy it and hack it. It's a ruler. Buy it and hack it. Okay. Um, anybody else questions? Anybody? Can we help anybody get their LEDs working in the, in the on the last uh, day to get your LEDs working? Get your get your pixels up on your house. Wow. <laughs> oh, everybody's sending my wife's burst birthday. He comes from China. What are we talking about today, RC? We're about done, honestly. Def, uh, definitely a rule. Buy it and hack it, right? <laughs> yes, it's happy birthday to Mrs. Z's today. We're about to go out to breakfast. She wants to go to, uh, what did she say? The original house, the original pancake house. The original pancake house where she wants to go. You can get the three printer and printer and build a bigger one. That's probably true. That is probably true. Um, first, I'd have to get my printers all working. Well, that was really fun. So, so, so Switchbot, thank you very much for uh, your gift. I l uh, this is amazing. I had no idea that they were making this many new products and uh, and a super cool box. I'm going to have to find a way to play with that box. Isn't that a fun box? That's a super cool box. We're going to have to use that box, reuse that box for other things. I'm just going to like store little parts in it and stuff. Um, yes. Can you please stuck working? Uh-oh. Oh, you're stuck working? You want me to get? Not IHOP. No, not IHOP. I don't have pixels yet, but we'll be ordering some next year. Good, Ryan. Good. Next year. So, so um, we're going to do another stream tomorrow. I don't have a, how about a little shout out for the pixel heads show? What? Wait, tell me about the Pixel Heads show. Uh oh. Hold on a second. This is work. Hello? Hey, what's up? 
Ajá. 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 I guess so, I guess so, I guess so. And that's not my favorite, but fine, whatever. It was pretty short already, but... I, I, I mean, have they, they haven't made assignments yet, right? Hmm. Why don't you switch me to Ot? Switch me to Ot's room. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, bye. Okay, just trying to get out of some work for Monday. Uh, the supply of Quinn boards will be better in 2022. We are hoping, Nicholas. We are hoping. I cannot believe we've been doing this for a couple of years now, and we still cannot keep up with the with the demand. All right, Pixel Heads show collection. This is awesome. So these are our Pixel Heads, our dudes. If you've been in our LED channel. Uh, and gotten any help? These are the guys. This is so cool. This is so cool. So if we click this, is it gonna take us to? It's gonna take us to YouTube, and we can watch this stuff happen. So fun. You guys are amazing. Awesome. Awesome. Darzoom. So if you have, uh, I guess if you have a display, you could probably talk to Justin Z's or some of these guys. And um, and see if you can link your show on this Pixel Heads site. I love this. I did not know this was a thing. The Pixelheads.github.io slash shows. There it is for everybody. Thank you, Justin. I didn't know that you guys uh, had put this together. This is fantastic. Evil Woodstock. This is in. Uh, this is here in Utah, not too far from. Well, not that close. I don't think either, but. I spend a lot of time there, Jacob says. I like going in there. You know, it's crazy. I'll get pinged into the, the Pixel Head channel there or the, the, the LED channel. And um, by the time I get there to see who messaged me, there are like 150 new messages. Like I can't even find where I got messaged from because there's so many people <laughs> that have said something. It has, got, it has got to be one of the most active. It is definitely the most active channel on, on my Discord, but it is crazy active. Um, saw the Hoobit Hole episode on DIY and for those who have Philo, it's already on there. There you go. Okay, good. Philo. So good, good, good. Good, good, good. Is Justin Z's related? I'm a noob. No, he's not actually. Although I think he gets, he probably gets a lot of people thinking that he's me and I just let them all think that because then he gets to answer the questions. <laughs> that is it. This is cool. Do you have, is that just a wet road or do you have like a lake there? Which one was this? Oh, this is Joel. Man, look at all those props. Good gravy. Man, we are so lucky to have the pixel heads with us. So lucky to have the pixel heads with us. Dominicali lights. So fun. So fun. All right, guys. Well, we better, uh, let's call up Mrs. Z's and sing happy birthday to her. What do you say? Let's do it. Let's call up Mrs. Z's and sing happy birthday. It's just a wet road, Joel says. It's time for sign It's time for sign And bring, bring mom. We got to bring mom up so we can sing her happy birthday. Hi. Yeah, it is cool. I, so we're going to have happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, am I on TV already? Yeah, you are. <laughs> yep, yep. Wait, turn this one on. So you guys can all look in here too. So you can stand back over there even and look okay. right here. Okay. All right, so we're going to sing happy birthday to oh, Mrs. Z's and all these guys, uh, all the guys online here are going to sing with us. You guys ready? One, one two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, dear mommy, Mrs. Z's. Happy birthday to you. Okay, now a special song. It's your birthday. I hope you have a happy one. It's your birthday. I hope your day is really fun. Golly, mommy, you sure are looking fun. Happy birthday. It's your day to shine. Yay, happy birthday, happy birthday, okay. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Ready, guys? Till next time. Till next time. Adios. Okay, we're off for some pancakes. Have a good day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow at the regular time, which I think is 11. Something like that, 11, 11.30. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye.